Welcome to Excel and Finance video number 34. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for chapter 5, click on the link below the video. Be sure to scroll all the way down to the finance class section. Hey, in this video, we want to use a discounted cash flow uh, analysis to figure out the value of an asset. Now, back in video 27, we did this. Um, but we did it the long way, and the long way worked great for cash flows that were different sizes. But this example follows the annuity pattern. So here's our example. If a new machine will yield a net cash flow of 10,000 bucks per month for the next five years, and your discount rate is 15% compounded 12 times a year, what is the maximum amount that you should pay for this machine? Now remember, discount rate just means interest rate, but when you're going backwards present value, you usually you're, use that term. All right, just as in the last video we did present value of an annuity uh, cash flow stream, we can do it here. Now remember, we can do this because the 10,000 is the same amount each period and the time between each cash flow is the same. So our rate, 15 divided by 12. Now remember, when you're doing this in Inside a company, your discount rate is usually pretty big because it has to include all the return you're going to make to uh, pay equity holders and uh, any all your d creditors also. And actually, later in this class, we'll see some ways to estimate that. All right, so we have our rate, period rate, comma, NPER. number of compounding periods times years, and our PMT. Now this is positive. This is cash flow coming from the asset. And actually later in this class, we'll also, also go into great detail to, or in some detail about how to estimate cash flows like that from an asset. Comma, we do not have a future value amount. Our type is going to be end, so we can leave it blank. And that's it. So the amount we'd be willing to pay for this asset is 420. That means out of our pocket, we're willing to part with 420K. Now, what if the asset was 400,000? You've estimated you're willing to pay this amount out to get this future stream of cash flows. If the price is this, you want to buy it because boom, you've estimated you'd be willing to pay this and it's on sale. Now, if it was uh, minus 450,000 bucks, you're like, no, no, no. I think I, this is the max I'd pay for it given my assumed discount rate. You're charging too much. Now, again, this did the same thing here. I wanted these words to pop up. I'm going to put it in edit mode and then highlight it, copy. Come down here, put it in edit mode, and control V. So, and there's the words. I just set them. Choop. All right, um, we have lots more tricks in this chapter multiple cash flows, annuity cash flows, present value, future value. See you next video.